Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Morning, Jamie. Yes, she spins. <laughs> morning, Natalie. Morning, Faisal. How are you doing? How are we doing today? Right. Back to work on the putty tat, and I am going to work down here. I think I have decided. I have decreed. too hard there on that. Um, what was that? Why did I get a, a notification then? It's not told me what that notification was. That was weird. That was weird. Um, hang on, let me just go and check something. Da, 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 da. On. Perhaps it will tell me on here. Oh, Demaric Art. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Demaric Art, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't know why that didn't pop up on my OBS screen. So. Um, I am on 106 followers. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I went over the 100 followers when I did my Valorant stream. So, yeah, it went up a little bit there. So, um, clearly need to play more Valorant, huh? <laughs> Uh, James told chat to follow, to push to 100 during the Valo stream last week. Oh, did he? Bless him. He never told me that. Hey Artsman, good morning. How are you doing? Right. Um, let's think about how to do this. Do, 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 do. Did you enjoy the um <laughs> the chat inspired doodle yesterday? The bounce prompt for Inktober. I made it a nightclub. But I thought why wouldn't there be a nightclub called the cemetery? You know.
Uh, you're fasting because of blood work this morning. <laughs> oh, I will. I will show the doodle in a minute. Uh, chat inspired. Just, yeah, just Jamie inspired. Hang on. Let me grab the doodle. It's all the way down the floor. I am standing. I'm standing at my standing desk today. So this was the uh, the doodle inspired by the word bounce. So yeah, so we have this um, lovely bouncer with a cemetery nightclub and I stuck an axe in this little uh, zombie's head. <laughs> Just quite pleased with him, gave him some blood. I should have done it in red really to show up, but there we go. It was a ghoul's night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But there is, um, going back to what Artsman said, there is nothing worse than having to fast before blood work. You can't have a decent cup of tea first thing in the morning. And it's literally all you can think of. It wasn't the ghoul's night out, no. Right, I need this sort of readier red. That's really technical, wasn't it? A readier red. put the shine in his lip, not his snaggle tooth. Um, just coffee and water for you. You're not allowed to have coffee though, are you? Before the blood test, you're only allowed to have like water. Um, what is today's? Oh, that's a good question. Hang on. I've got them all written down somewhere. Today's prompt is... Uh, fortune. So there are the prompts. So we're on day 10. So fortune. So, yes. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I did have some grand idea about somehow doing a bit of fan art based on Smaug the dragon laying on a big pile of coins. Um because that would be a fortune. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think that might be a complicated drawing. And again, if it's, um, if it's using a copyrighted image, I suppose I could draw any dragon sitting on a pile of coins. I could get away with it and say it's a dragon rather than Schmalg, whatever his name is. You can have black coffee. Oh. They don't allow anything here in the UK. If you've got a fast before a blood test, you're allowed to have water. That's it. I'm just going to stick some red in this dark shadow as well, just because I think that that will help blend before I add the black. Okay, so I need um, what is going to be the best colour here? Um, hmm. Let's just start off with this. Let me just take away this pencil.
Uh, has Rebecca named it yet? No. No. Slacking in her duties. Clearly she's not as dedicated as you are, Jamie. Right, this comes down to about here. <laughs> fired from the naming committee and it is not called Buck no it is not called Buck oh it's now called Buck it has not got a Buck tooth oh my god <laughs> A buck isn't, I don't know, a kind of thing a Siamese needs like a classy name. That's why ours, when we had ours, we called her Sophia because it was like, classy cat needs a classy name, right? <laughs> Faisal. <laughs> Aww. The poor putty tat. Picking on him or her. I just kind of feel it's a her. Right, uh, it needs a little bit of this um, Venetian red just here under the lip. It has not got a buck tooth. <laughs> I mean, Sophia, our actual Sophia, she did have like little fangs that you could see, like little vampire teeth that would come out here. But that there is a gleam on the lip. It is not a tooth. I suppose you could always call it Snagglepuss. Uh, Snagglepuss. <laughs> Apart from this cat, what does everyone think is the ugliest animal? Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I mean, the blobfish isn't exactly the best looking fish, is it? Is it the blobfish that creates like, it can create like a bucket of slime every hour or something? It's like, I think I read that somewhere. I heard it on a documentary. Right. Brune. Need a bit more brune. A bit 
too dark, is it? Mm, you'll see. Um, a different picture of the same guy. Uh, go on then, Jamie. What's your controversial but factual one? Sloths. <gasps> Sloths are the creepiest looking animal and I refuse to believe that anyone thinks they are cute. Oh my gosh. I think everyone believes that sloths are smiling. But technically they're not actually smiling. trying to think what I think is the ugliest animal. <laughs> Cute little clown face. Uh, their arms, their claws, the slow movement, everything. Well, I mean, at least you'd be able to run away from one, you know, if you needed to. Sharpen this pencil a bit. <laughs> oh, Faisal, I knew what you were doing the second you typed that. I knew what you were doing. Provoking Natalie. <laughs> oh, it's getting ugly in the chat now. It's getting ugly in the chat. God, you timed him out. <laughs> I'll sit in the corner and think about what you've done. I mean, you knew you was up against it there, Faisal. You've got two people who really love birds and ducks to make such a controversial statement. <laughs> Stand up for what he said. <laughs> said the inflatable headmaster.
<laughs> oh dear. Oh, Faisal, <laughs> you're just you're just really going for it on the the whole poultry shaming, aren't you? <laughs> Inflatable headband comment, you're kidding me. I mean, clearly there is to be no duck shaming in the chat. You're in a good mood. <laughs> He's the king of the world. He can take on the world. He can take on the duck committee. Hopefully next Monday morning you'll be in a good mood too. It's happening next Monday. Are you going to fight your bully in real life? Oh, okay. Seriously? Oh, I thought, you know, I thought he was being really serious there for a moment, Faisal. I thought maybe there was someone at work who was making your life a misery and you were going to stand up and... Just had this image then of you sort of taking someone to a tribunal. Right, um, no, you're heading to work, I can't find, <laughs> nope.
3.5 occasions. <laughs> How do you manage to cry on 0.5 of an occasion? Is it just where the tears come to your eyes but they don't actually trickle down your cheeks? Is that is that what 0.5 means or...? I hope you use all this natural humour in your scripts that you write, Jamie. I hope you're writing comedy scripts. Put some of them walking there, but walking and typing aren't a good combo. No, they're not. Remember to look up on occasion. <laughs> uh, the point five is only half a t half a tear. Okay. <laughs> the same way you can only dig half a hole. Is that what you're talking about? Dustbin men are outside again, making a racket. Uh, you need coffee. Mm, I'd had mine right before the stream. So blend that in. Um, what would be the best colour to blend that in? Probably this one. He's not had his he's not had his caffeine intake. Let's use the Van Dyke Brown.
Get in there, get in there. Um, you're going to lurk now. Faisal losing a fight with a duck. Oh my god. I feel like it's going to be a doodle battle now. Right, hang on, let me put that down. Let me grab my other... Let me grab a bit of paper. Might I remind you before I start drawing that we had this lovely picture of you all being friends. Okay, Faisal in the middle, surrounded by Natalie and Jamie, being lovely friends, okay? <laughs> Honestly, right. Faisal losing a fight with a duck. I've got to think about what the duck's doing. Um, um, Stop trying to imagine how this is going to be. Um, I don't know why I keep putting you in these robes, Faisal. Do you only wear robes? Because that's the only pictures I've seen you in, so I just put you in these... Um, No idea how the tail feathers look. Let's have him squawking. Quack. <laughs> Let's have a um we'll have a mallard. Let's have a ring around their neck. Um bit of a green head don't they greenish greenish head there we go Faisal <laughs> losing a fight with a duck um the good old days when you were friends um you normally just wear a shirt and a normal pants. Okay, cool. Okay, but I need some pictures of that then, please, so I can imagine it for when I, I have to do these countless doodles of you. Because <laughs> I feel like this is going to come up a lot. Jamie hitting a duck. How can I hit it if it ducks? Oh dear, do I want to draw animal abuse? Probably not. Um... Mm. Hmm. How about we do Jamie trying to 
stop the duck. It does go against the PG stream. So how about how about Jamie is releasing the duck onto Faisal? Okay, so this is Faisal. Almost like release the quacken. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Oh, that's just come to me. Release the quacken. Okay, so there's Jamie. Here's his baseball cap. <laughs> I'm here all day. Oh dear, this is such a bad picture of you, Jamie. There's multiple pictures in your Instagram with normal day-to-day -day clothes. Oh, okay, I'll have to have a, yeah. Yeah, uh, some jeans or something. And this is Jamie. Releasing. Releasing the Quacken. There we go. <laughs> that is not what you look like to me. That is not what Faisal looks like to me. But that is how bad I am at drawing without a reference photo in front of me. And you guys keep making me draw people. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> that is not what you look like to me. I'm sure you wear much cooler clothes. I think you're much fashionable. I think Faisal wears different clothes, obviously. And the duck probably should have a better wing than that. But um, yeah, sorry. Without a reference picture, you know I'm going to be crap. So there you go. <laughs> Right. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do. <laughs> you look like you've just run into a shovel. Oh, did you? You do look kind of <laughs> a little bit flat faced, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I need to go away and uh, practice my human drawing skills and maybe um, be better at doing some basic shapes absolutely I should I know what you look like in real life when you've shown your your face in an Instagram picture or a little side profile or something so I know you don't look like you've been hit by a shovel but let's just go with the humor shall we <laughs> I can use a truck.
he's finding the time, quite honestly. I mean, I have a lot of Valoranting to do. Perhaps instead of playing Valorant, I should be working on my basic shapes. <sighs> right, I need the really dark brown now. Okay, I think that will that will do for now there. Let me move it up a bit and do this bit up here. Book you cat is coming along nicely. Puddy Cat is coming along quite nicely. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with this bit in particular. This, the sheen on the fur just there. I just really, really like that bit. I'm trying not to make these pencil strokes all head in the same direction. I'm trying to sort of slightly crisscross them ever so slightly just to sort of match the natural patterning in the fur. Otherwise it doesn't look quite right if the fur just heads in one direction in a very straight line because that's not how fur looks.
Where is the cream color? Ivory. <laughs> right. Um, I need that soft brown again. Which one was it? Was it this one? I just want a few fly away sort of hairs that are just slightly longer just to sort of go up over the top of that scalp point. Try and blending it into where I've got edges before so I don't get these harsh lines from where I've coloured in to previous markings. Just thinking this comes around to about here. The fur gets kind of long around about here, so if I just draw a line naturally.
That's not doing too badly. How long have we been drawing this cat for? Let me have a look. How many hours have gone into it so far? Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is our ninth hour. So that's not too bad. Nine hours. It's not too bad so far. Need a darker section here where these whiskers come up out the top of the head above the eye. This goes up to about here, those darker markings, doesn't it? And about here. All cats have generally got this marking on the top of their head, whether you can see it in daylight or not, but you can generally see it when the sun shines on it. They have like um, an upside down letter M or a W, I guess you want to call it that. And I remember being told it was because, uh, and it was something to do with the Prophet Muhammad was meant to have seen a cat. I think he was kneeling somewhere and a cat came up to approach him and he laid his hand on the top of the cat's head and that's where they get the M marking from. I could have been told that as a child. <laughs> just to sort of blend those colours in together just over the edges where I was before just softens it and pushes it into the paper
Pulsey777, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Blending now around the eye. Ivory. There's a lot of ivory in this section. straight up and some bits that cross over getting there. The cat thing, first time hearing about it, Prophet Muhammad from a quick search, you don't see anything about it. Yeah, I mean, it was just something that I can remember my RE teacher, Mr. Naylor. He, uh, I can remember him telling me about it. I mean, obviously, with my scientific head on, tells me there's nothing to it, but I've never looked to see if it's in the literature anywhere to say that there's a story about the Prophet Muhammad, so I, I don't know. But I distinctly remember him telling me about it. Because at the time, um, I had a brown tabby cat called Tigger, and he had a very distinct M on the top of his head, very distinct, and I can remember going home as a young girl being really sort of, oh, that's why they have that M on the top of their head. It's funny the things you get told, isn't it? When you're at school by teachers as a child and then as you grow up you realise actually what they taught you was was wrong. Right. So this bit over this eye is a lot darker. I need a different shade.
There's a lot of stories you heard as a child and found out it wasn't true as an adult. Well, exactly. <laughs> And that whole I before E, except after C rule is a load of nonsense. Um, just trying to think what else. whole learning how to do all those complicated types of maths because we weren't going to walk around in the future with a calculator in our pockets. Hmm, definitely wrong there, weren't they? Uh, just wandering around searching for some screensaver next to my home office work drawing looking good so far not a fan of cats but it is what it is enjoyed thank you palsy um you're in a majority there <laughs> i think most of my chat is not uh, a fan of this particular cat anyway i wanted to draw it because i used to have a, a chocolate point siamese so chat gets to vote on what we draw so if you want to be involved in what we draw in the future just pop onto my discord and uh, when I next put up a selection of pictures for people to vote from you can join in but I hope you find a screensaver <laughs> screensavers have to be spot on don't they for the mood that you're in at that moment Thanks, Faisal. Sometimes I take ages choosing a screensaver. I mean, at the moment, I think I've just got a, a rolling gallery of something that Microsoft Windows provides. Um, I need to go in and, and change it. Have something a bit more personal to me, I think. Right, okay, I think we've got to a good start today. So we did the chin and we did this top bit at the top of the head. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it today, chat. So thanks again for joining me. Um, pleasure as always, despite the, um, <laughs> the poor, poor Snagglepuss abuse. <laughs> Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a great day, everybody. Um, do something nice and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye.